Bloggers Pow. <laughs>
is, I suppose, halfway between the Master System and Mega Drive versions. Uh, it definitely pisses on the Amiga version, that's for sure, because that was shocking. Uh, again, two two button pad means you've got brake and accelerate on the buttons and gear changes up and down, which is something I never ever got used to on things like Hang On or, or Outrun on the Master System. Very, very uh, unwieldy, I find. But um, otherwise, you can see it's it's, it's a uh, a perfectly service serviceable um, conversion of that one. But the track layout um, is absolutely spot on here on the first stage. Oh, bit of a weird thing going on there with the road splitting. Now, is this overseas track layout or uh, not? I believe it is overseas track layout because we're in the canyon. This outrun um, had two track layouts. The uh, stages would be in slightly different order if you were playing the overseas version or the Japanese version. Oh shit. But nothing really to complain about here. This is pretty good stuff. A nice version of that one. Again, I, I'm going to say it's probably better than the Mega Drive version. Again, probably released a bit later than the Mega Drive version, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Again, we'll check some dates here. Sound effects are a little bit off. I'm so glad I turned the engine noise off because it's absolutely hugely off putting. Oh dear. Have a copper there. But yeah, a, um, uh, another good conversion. Um, this is the problem with. Playing good games, you've got no nothing, nothing nasty to say about them. I can't really just go off about how shite it is or something when you're actually playing something that's good and playable, which out one generally speaking is, unless you're playing it on the Amiga. Um, oh, flip, literally. So yeah, out one on the PC Engine. A good game. So next up, Space Harrier. Oh, speech! That's cool. Okay, first things first. Um, the ground is just—it isn't the checkerboard you'd normally expect with Space Harrier. Uh, more of a, just a couple of wavy lines. If somebody knows what I'm referencing, there, please type below. But here's a clue. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is nice. Again, it's um, looks nicer than the um, Master System version. Um, Dan type better than the NES version. Um, and I suppose this would have been the best way to play Space Harry until maybe the 32X turned up, and then after that, you know, you're getting into the time when you could play on Mame, on the Saturn, or on the Dreamcast, or on the PlayStation 2. Um, before somebody starts saying, oh, the PS2 version was the whole 3D shit, yes, there was, but there was also a non-3D shit version. In fact, a very accurate conversion on the PlayStation. Oh, it's a Dragon already. Um, this, the later Sega Ages Space Harrier 2 Deluxe Pack, and yeah. It's the, uh, oh, the Dragons are quite nice. Yeah doesn't play quite the same as the original this I mean I've played a shitload of space home in my time um, it's a little bit off but hey you know it's a really really good version of space area now if anybody actually wonders I am actually playing this on a real PC engine this is no weird dodgy emulation here I've uh, 
had a PC engine. Well, this PC engine since 1995, I believe. I bought it off a mate of mine who wanted money to buy a PlayStation 1. And if you're still watching, Mark, um, it's in good hands and it's still working. And the weird RGB mod, which Raven Games or whoever it was did for it, is still holding up really well. Again, like space, like yeah, like after when I could probably play this all day. Well, let's, let's have a, another go. I'll go on the next stage. Maybe get to the two-headed dragon at the end of this stage, and we'll uh, move along and see what what's next. Nice version of the tune. I'll give it that as well. I think maybe in speed wise it's a little pedestrian compared to, uh, you know, the arcade game. But definitely worth having a bash on. the uh, double head dragon now there we go oh and the ceiling comes down on the next stage ah oh dear one life remaining it's nice to hear a little that little bit of sample speech oh and the ceiling does come down Oh, pretty good. Oh, and again, the next life somehow, so uh, we're still going. We'll go until I've lost my last life. Oh, it's time for the robot bosses. We'll let that one survive so we can see him. Oh, he's quite nice, isn't he? <gasps> Bonus stage! Yeah, PC Engine conversions are usually... They're quite... Um, true to the originals in terms of they keep all these little bits like the bonus stages and this and the, the landing field and afterburner in. Things that are missed out of other versions. I mean, the Commodore 64 version of this didn't have the bonus stages. Um, I haven't played the NES version enough to know it, know if it does. Sorry, Famicom version. Uh, I can't remember if the Master System version does or not, so, uh, you know, chuck a comment below if you can remember or you've played it more than I have. Never really got on with the Master System version. Oh, crap. So, yeah. Decent version of a uh, space area there, so worth your time. So, lastly today we have the what I always considered the black sheep of uh, Sega's uh, sprite scaling games. It's Thunderblade. So, let's have a go on this. So, it's going to work on two buttons. So you got shoot. And missile, okay. Okay, you don't have any altitude control like you do in the arcade, but okay. I'm gonna start button is pause, so that doesn't do anything. Okay, so it's it's a bit more akin to the master system version in the way that you don't have any altitude control in these upward scrolling bits. Okay, that's not the end of the day, isn't it? Let's uh Okay, I mean, they, that multi-layer effect on the uh, buildings there is pretty good. Oh dear, I appear to have died. But yeah, this was always the uh, weird one out the super scaling bunch, simply because the cabinet, if you ever used a sit-down cabinet, it was sort of clockwork. You'd move this huge joystick left or right. You had no real control over your um, 
helicopter because the joystick was so long and moving the joystick was like pulled some sort of some bizarre pulley and cog system to rotate the cabinet around and it felt really unwieldy if you're going to play the arcade version you really need to play the stand-up cabinet which thankfully when you go to things like uh, play expo and replay events and that if there's a cabinet there for thunderblade it is a stand-up cabinet so you can actually enjoy it and i'm dead already game over and that continues well i'll have another bash then oh we do get a continue okay well 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 that was not really a continue Hmm. Um, yeah, what's I saying? Yeah, so best to play a standard version. Um, I mean, it got it, it got its uh, own home conversions as well. Again, Master System I've mentioned, which is not a bad version. And there's Super Thunderblade on the Mega Drive, which is sort of Thunderblade one and a half, I suppose. It's not very good. This is probably more playable than the Mega Drive version so far, at least. And if I get past the first stage, so at least we can see if it continues with this uh, depth of field sort of thing going on. What are you doing better? I haven't died. Touch wood. There we go. Here's something that was surprising. If you ever played the Commodore 64 version of this, it was surprisingly good. Uh, again, like a lot of the Sega 3D conversions, a programmed by Chris Butler, who famously did uh, the excellent Commodore 64 version of Power Drift, and also uh, the Commodore 64 version of Space Harry, which obviously, you know, I think he sort of cut his teeth on that one. It wasn't particularly good. But hey, 14 year old blogger bought it on release because he's a moron. And this is a bit tricky because the controls aren't well they're they're, they're not reversed so in this kind of game i do like to push up to go down and down to go up you know like aircraft controls and this is the other way around at the moment i'm sure i probably could have changed it in the options but i didn't bother we've got not much level left and we'll get to the uh, boss which should be uh flying over a large stealth bombery Blackbird sort of aircraft, which uh, I'd like to see if we get that far. Or it might be the Mega Drive version where it's like a bizarre tank which wasn't in the arcade game, but you know, come on. Surely we're there all. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Okay. Ooh. All tales from the Chippy Tastic. Oh, it's crashed. How bizarre. Maybe the cartridge needs cleaning. But, um, okay, well there you go, there's um, Thunderblade uh, on the PC Engine. Uh -huh. So there was a look at uh, some games which the PC Engine did pretty well in my opinion. What did you think? Comment below. Yeah, subscribe or naff off.